Welcome back to HHS Today. I'm your host, David. And I'm Cole. We hope you all had a great Thanksgiving break. What did you do in the break, Cole? I went parachuting. Wow, really? No, I'm kidding. I worked on this episode. Wow, that's some dedication. Our first segment is the famous elevator trivia. Let's see it, Hammer. Welcome to Elevator Trivia. Three questions over three floors. Get all three correct, you win a prize. Let's get it. What is the best selling board game? Monopoly. Who won the first Super Bowl? The Browns. Which franchise which franchise has never been in the World Series? Astros. What was 2018's top song? Nice for what? What year did the iPhone come out? 2007. Good looks. Correct. What is the biggest lake in the U.S.? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you, you want a uh, complimentary pen now. Really? Lake Superior. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Here's your complimentary pen. <laughs> what is celebrated on February 2nd in the U.S.? Groundhog Day. The beaver is the national animal of what country? Canada. What is the chemical symbol for gold? AU. Congratulations, Jeffrey. You won your free uh, HCAM bag for uh, answering all three correct. Such great questions. Did you know the answers, David? Nope. That's why they were so great. But Cole, have you ever wondered what's going on at HHS after school? Yes, of course. Let's see what Parker has filmed for us after school this week. What else our viewers don't see very often? No, what? Behind the scenes of HHS Today. Our next segment is going to show them. Her club. Let's see it. Good. My favorite part about HHS TV like is yeah. the like variety great, in it. Every class is different, and every I'm student sure brings their own right vision. Uh, good one, Jess. <laughs> see, I told you. Are we missing something? I honestly didn't expect no, to actually, like, be using these kind of tools. More like okay, a material tool. To go... The thing that I most enjoyed wor working on was the club okay. pair. I think it is a good class to take. Uh, it widens your skills, like editing and just filming. And you can kind of just hang out. It's a lot of fun. Next week. Yay! Good job. Yay. Isn't that cool? Of course. You know what else we can see behind the scenes of robotics class? That sounds great. Let's see this room tour. Welcome to room C two hundred six. Uh, we have two laser cutters that we use. Uh, we have a drill press, a bandsaw, uh, a chop saw, as well as two small bandsaws. On my left is also uh, the robotics ring. This is where students go and compete in robotics. Back here we have the think tank. The think tank is an interesting place where students get to come back and sit. We have our little library as well as interesting little weird places like if you want to take a photograph, our 3D printing rack where students produce uh, various models. We've just happened upon some art students that are inside of our closet. They're doing digital art and they're uh, filming things in the dark that glow. This is uh, all the junk that we use for different projects. We have our tool chest with all sorts of things, even weird tools like dental picks. We have a workbench over here with a vise, cutting mats, and that is the engineering shop. That's an awesome classroom. That's a great experience for anyone to take. True. And something else everyone should consider is answering the literary question of the month. And here's Mr. Lally to tell us what it is. 
Hi, I'm Mr. Lally. I'm here in the Reader's Corner, which is in the English hallway on the third floor. Um, I've spoken to you before about our literary question of the month and our book exchange program. If you see a book here that you like, feel free to take it. Uh, if you have something you want to drop off, you can always bring it in. Uh, but I just wanted to remind us of the literary question of the month for December 2019. Since the decade's coming to a close, we're thinking about uh, the 21st century. The question of the month for December is what is the best 21st century book that you've read so far? Uh, all you have to do is find a slip here, write your description, staple up here to the wall, and we'd love to hear some of your recommendations. I'm going to check out that board after this show. Nice. Now our question of the day. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? I have no idea. Yuck. Sticky sauce. Nut cream. It would be called peanut cream. Chunky protein. Brown butter. Nutty butter. The best food in the world. Peanut cream. Squishy brown. Nut spread. All right, if peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, I guess it would be called peanut spread. Just peanut butter. There's no logical answer for it because it spreads like butter. There it is. Uh, I would say creamy goodness. Peanut juice. <laughs> Cement. Some squish peanuts? <laughs> Water. Grape jelly. Found any inspiration, David? I sure did, but sadly that was the end of our show. That's sad, but luckily for you, you can find more HHS TV on our website at hhs.today. Goodbye, and see you next time.